crowning world champions going way back to the legends of the sport, Peter Townend winning a title to set off what professional surfing really would become to today. Joel Parkinson, 2012 world champ, taking on the most recent world champ, and Adriano de Souza, each and every venue on tour. Parco up now to start off with the first wave. Parco de Souza, two of the toughest guys to out position in a lineup like this. A win here puts you in a heat with Andino, potentially later on today. Adriano now starts off vertically. Great timing on the first snap. Picking off a kind of a mid-sized wave so he can perform and it ends up on his feet. One of the better ways for De Souza this morning. Nice, clean, crisp maneuvers. And this one right here, bang, just nice and smooth, clean. No mistakes at all from Adrian De Souza. And that's, I think, his forte, Joe, is just that seamless surfing. I mean, he's, he's got such good ability. He's got a really unbelievable backhand attack. And this next turn here, watch how clean and crisp this next turn is. Not radical, but just flows through that maneuver nice and clean. Lands almost like a butterfly with sore feet. It seemed like Parco, Kelly, Mick, Taj had on the final series. Watching Parco now pack a hollow section. It's going to drain out, and he's going to try to force oh. it out of the doggy door. And he ends up going down. A bit more than he should have. Let's have a look. I love the way he gets into this barrel, just pumps and then grabs the rail right there. If he had a snuck out through that section, he probably... Um, I'd made a mistake paddling for one of the waves before that I never caught. Um, and then priority switched between all of us, like, within 30 seconds. Um, it was, you know, uh, with the tide going low, it made it really hard for the, to, to stay right in that position to be able to catch the waves. So every time you paddle just off the bank, you really struggle to get back on it. Now De Souza further down the line. Opened up with a 6.5 setup work. So far, another little snap section, but that's going to be the inside corner that's going to go away from him. Will hold him off some scoring potential. So his best wave still the first opener, 6.5, with 17.30 to go. You can see how quickly Adriano learns. It's kind of been a student of the game ever since he qualified. I watched him when he was learning to do that. Uh, emulating uh, Trent Munro who, who grabs the rail off the bottom on his backhand to Souza. I watched the day that he was practicing that and, and now he's got it as part of, his, part of his repertoire. Watching a classic go down on paper. Two world champs fighting for a spot into the quarterfinals to take on Andino. De Souza up now. Little backhand float to get out of there. And he's going to look to reposition with the water patrol. He's not going to be paddling out but they still have to figure out a way to win. Parco with priority, looking for a 6.83 big float, coming around the corner under the lip jam, carves it off the top, and you can see him just pull that one off and happy to be running through the inside now. De Souza with priority. Sort of more of an insider, little float to uh, start the wave off, that beautiful trademark bottom turn, top turn combo, right there again, just a nice big snap with the time on the clock might just make a move now so he'll use priority to close this one out on the horn Adriano beats Joel Parkinson to move on to the quarterfinals